Colombo is the financial capital of Sri Lanka, home to just under 700,000 people. It's also home to over 1,600 underserved settlements. Most are inhabited by a combination of long-time urban residents who have lived in settlements for generations and those who have migrated from rural areas seeking livelihoods. Over time, these residents have settled informally on both privately owned land and public land owned by government agencies such as the Colombo Municipality and the National Housing Development Authority. As a result, many settlements have very limited access to municipal services and those that exist are often derived from informally negotiated political arrangements rendering more sustainable solutions a challenge. Environmental degradation, vulnerability to flooding and illness related to the absence of basic services all present a burden on these residents. Gotamipura is one such underserved settlement. This is in contrast to the surrounding neighborhood which has become a residence for higher income professionals who have secure tenure and fewer problems with urban services. The Colombo Focus City Research Initiative is one of eight action research projects in eight cities worldwide, funded by the International Development Research Center. The project aims to address the lack of sewerage and more recently lack of tenure faced by Gotamipura residents via supporting a unique partnership between municipal authorities a local NGO, a research institution and the community itself. Led by the Colombo Municipal Council, the project has developed and implemented a sewerage system for residents in order to address the lack of services in a sustainable way. The goal of the team is to design an integrated model of service delivery that could be applied across Colombo in the future, based on the Gotamipura model. This short film documents the context, objectives challenges and outcomes of this ongoing project. Hey! I'll call you. I am a director of uh, one of the largest insurance companies in Sri Lanka. In fact, I, by profession, I am a chartered accountant. This house was built uh, in 1995. This is our garage area. All the vehicles are parked down there. There's a clear distinction between the uh, community uh, settlements and the uh, neighborhood over here. The neighborhood has middle income and high income people. Whereas this settlement, which has been built on land, which has belonged to a government, and generally the people were regarded as en encroachers. And with the government intervention, gradually the settlements uh, got a little bit of service improvement and housing. Dang thing, I It has started by about 10 to 15 families initially. And then with their natural expansion and relatives looking for employment, they found that uh, this is an easy place for them to occupy because it's a government land. And then uh, during the 1980s, there has been a major government housing improvement program. As a result of that, uh, these people uh, got uh, the support of the National Housing Development Authority to improve the houses. <laughs> Because of their voting right, they have uh, developed linkages with the councillors, you know, and councillors got involved uh, or uh, sort of uh, have supported these people to uh, get uh, water, electricity and uh, things like that. So that is how uh, it came to be a... Uh, uh, bit of a permanent uh, scene, you know.
जीवत्तर <laughs> So this particular network covers around 240 houses, providing individual sewerage facilities for these people. Because the ownership of the land belongs to NHDA, our partner Sevanath NGO, they actually propose to give uh, title deeds to the community, because then they will feel like uh, they are the owners. We got to. Uh, make a request by the community to the national housing development authority for uh, initiating the title deed issuing process we discussed this with the government leaders and there's a problem with, with them how to raise funds for the on operation maintenance part of the project because nhda does not have enough money to uh, invest on that issue so, and municipality cannot invest our own money because that settlement is not owned by us they are suggesting at least 25000 rupees has to be paid by the each individual householder out of that 10000 will be released to the municipal funds from that we will be paying the electricity bill there is the most important part of this project once the system is connected so we are supposed to pay the electricity bill to the electricity board so immediately we need some funds to pay the bills sustainability of the project will uh, lie on the hands of the community how they act and react the, the main distinction in this project is that the Columbia Municipal Council is actually the lead we often have a policy component but it's all through advocacy on the part of these research institutions to the municipal government in this case The municipal government is actually the lead of the project. Uh, Kalamu Municipal Council is the main uh, implementer of the project, with two other partners, Sevanatha and the research organization SEPA. As a local NGO partner, uh, basically uh, we have to uh, organize the community to support the project activities. And SEPA is looking at impact of our activities on the poverty of the these communities. This initial stage is a baseline. The findings from this study will go into understanding what the current situation is of the community. Our concern is that we, we do research and we advise for implementation or for policy change. When you have people with similar minds, it becomes easy to work with each other because we understand and we speak the same language. <laughs> ृतिया